Question number 60, we have a person who is walking along this beam that is supported by, but not attached to the two, uh, the two points. So our beam has like two fulcrums, if you will, over here and over here. This one would be our pivot. This would be our axis of rotation. When the person was somewhere out here, naturally we would have force of gravity, then his weight, and all of that was pressing on both the supports. What we're solving for is how far this person can walk to the right before this whole contraption topples over, meaning that the contact with this left fulcrum is lost altogether and it starts stepping off. So the two forces that we're gonna be concerned with is force of gravity of the person, force of gravity of the beam. This will be our axis of rotation, simple as that. So let's write our static equilibrium. Clockwise equals counterclockwise in or in terms of torque. The person's, since this is our axis right here, then the person's mass of the person times g times distance, not what I'm looking for, but for now it's just the distance from the fulcrum, should be equal to mass of the beam times g times, let's see if the beam is, so so the fulcrum is three, the beam is five meters, so this would be, this is two and a half from the end, so the lever arm for the beam's mass is 0.5. Then look at G cancels, and then when I look at the masses, beam is twice the mass of the boy, so I'm just going to cancel the mass of the boy, and this will be two masses, person, let's say, not beam. Distance is just going to be two times 0.5, it's going to be one meter. How close can he get to the right end of the beam? Well, if this right here is two meters, and he's one meter away from the fulcrum, then the answer is one meter.